stories just to describe the defensive mindset that it took to get some big time stops on this win? Um, I mean, we were locked in. Uh, we knew our defense was going to hold us over. Uh, we had to be pick up our intensity. Uh, and, you know, we got some huge stops towards the end. And, at the end. and for you, you had a battle down low. You know that you guys decided to go small. How were you able to attack particularly from the rebounding battle? Uh, you know, everybody just being collective group, rebounding, uh, coming together. I mean, you know, playing small ball, we knew it's going to take all of us. And, uh, you know, luckily I was you know, good enough to get all those rebounds. So. And we've seen the game winning shots from you a lot this season and with tonight. How did you get to your spot, and especially when Spencer found you? Uh, I mean, just, you know, Spence did a great job making the defense collapse and, then, you know, uh, being smart and relocating and, you know, having that confidence and knocking it down. I mean, he used to make some big plays when he was going to the basket and getting big shots and, you know, assisting on the basket. Did you guys change? I mean, obviously, there was a focus, but, I mean, did you guys change anything tactically from the first half to, you know, that defensive run you guys had in the third quarter and kind of turn it around? Uh, I mean, we picked up our defense. Uh, you know, we gave up too many points the first two quarters. Uh, we knew our defense could be better than that. Uh, we had to limit our turnovers. I think just taking care of the ball, not going to have no total shots. For as much as playing as much as anybody, you know, pre-trade to kind of have you come off the bench on everything, I mean, you have back-to-back double doubles and whatnot. Do you think you're plus 60 the past three games? I mean, do you think you're kind of fully acclimated to like the new look roster and kind of how you fit into all of it now? Uh, I mean, whether I'm starting to come off the bench, uh, me and so I'm playing and play as hard as I can, do the things that I got to do first to win the games, and just be myself. Do you have to be? Do you have to adjust things differently? I mean, thirty-two minutes to. 19 minutes, I mean, does it change anything about your process? No, I just keep them the same mindset, whether, I'm, you know, no matter how many minutes I'm playing. Uh, I think my whole career, just being able to adapt to uh, whether I'm playing a little bit or a lot, and that's just, my focus is just get better and trust the win. You, you have a lot of friends on the other team, between Torian, Rudy, and Mike. I mean, was there in a game that close? Was there any friendly trash talk, or was there uh, all business? To Rudy, at the end, you know, I told him, I told him he shouldn't have helped. But, uh, <laughs> nah, but, you know, uh, Torian and him went to college together. Uh, and then, you know, Mike, you know, Rudy, and Kill, you know, we played in Utah together. And, you know, just see those guys, you know, having great careers and playing well. You know, that's good for you mentioned, how you, oh, sorry. you mentioned how you have had to adapt with this group, and, but it's also just part of your game. But Jack Bond just told us how impressive you've been, particularly to the young guys, and their ability to watch what you have been able to do this season. To have the coaches trust and also just to get high praise for his life, what does that mean to you? Uh, I mean, it means a lot. I mean, uh, having a lot of trust in me. Uh, you know, I'm always being you know, professional and, you know, do what I got to do. I'm a little bit a lot. Uh, I, mean, I just try to be one of the leaders on this team. Uh, I mean, I've been here since the jump, so, you know, it's being that on-court leader, uh, you know, sharing my knowledge and, you know, listen to the other guys. You were saying, when you first got traded, you're obviously expecting to play with Kevin and Kyrie. You've had to play some point guard this year. You were playing five a little bit in Houston and Boston. Did you, did you ever expect to kind of be moved around the chess board the way you have this year? I mean, I just try to be a versatile. I, can. Uh, I mean, do whatever I got to do, whether I'm point guard, you know, shooting guard, center. I mean, it's, it's my you know, versatility and like being able to play in multiple positions. When's the last time you played center prior to this pet recent stretch? Um, it was a little in the year, then, you know, throughout Utah, we'll play a little small ball. Is that Rudy? I said, yeah. I'm sure.